Hi everybody. I wanted to update you on what the locomotive and the progress that I've made on it, what I've been working on lately. The boiler I haven't done much with. I do need to finish the boiler bands and the boiler jacket. Um, I did turn the cast iron saddle that will go. This is the the new cast iron saddle that comes from uh, Allen Moguls of Nevada, Allen Models of Nevada. It's beautiful. I, I have it sitting there. It's just, you know, wanted to test fit it after I bored out the center of it to clear the steam dome. But it's really nice, nice piece there. Anyway, here's the chassis over here. It's waiting. And I, I, I wanted to take a little time, since I, I haven't worked on the locomotive in a while, um, just to methodically go through. And there were a ton of little things that I wanted to do to it, just uh, namely installing cotter pins in my mechanical cylinder drains that was on the list putting some blue Loctite on a lot of the little um, bolts that don't have lock washers just to make sure they don't rattle loose I'll just do a quick pan of the chassis itself you can probably yeah you can see there on some of the um, the eccentric straps and and things like that you can see the little dabs of blue Loctite that I put on there any place that it didn't have a lock washer that I was afraid it could have possibly come loose. I went ahead and um, put some blue Loctite. Also, while I'm here, let me show you. I did uh, when I built the brakes years and years ago. I did use the Equalized Brake System. A guy named Greg Lewis, who was he posts on Chasky, um, has uh, he had done an article in. Um, live steam magazine about the the equalized brakes and so I used his design I wanted to show this thing I'd used left hand threads for some of these clevises to make it easy to just you rotate it and the whole thing tightens up basically and after I got done painting the rods wherever I used a left hand thread I put a little red stripe there painted it with a little some testers model paint or something just to Remind me that that's a left-hand thread if I ever have to redo those things. So I thought I'd pass that little tip along. The other big thing I wanted to do, its I was looking back, it's been a year since I installed the mechanical lubricator and the running board. I like how it looks. I had run the lines. I built the lines, built the little arm and all that stuff. And I had primed it initially just to check it, but I hadn't put any of the... Uh, cylinder oil in there so I've got I finally got some steam cylinder oil I filled it up I disconnected the mechanical arm here so I could um, move it you know just by hand and I disconnected both the fittings here just wanted to make sure the prime was good and I had oil coming out and then I could reconnect the lines and then check them you know make sure the oil was coming out supplying to the, the uh, steam chests but this one was fine right off the bat. This one I couldn't get any oil out of, so I consulted with Fred. He gave me some good advice. There's a check valve built in there, so I ended up taking that out, taking the check valve apart. I think it was just pushed together and it wasn't letting the ball move. So I just check, reassembled it, put it back in, pumped the arm a little bit more, and then sure enough I got oil out of there. So I reconnected that, and I also... Um, checked and made sure I had good um, cylinder oil flowing out to both of those so check in the box um, and like I said putting the putting cotter keys in and, and lock tighting everything that could come loose I think I'm just about to the stage uh, one more thing that before I put the boiler in place I can build the connection you can see I've got some little pieces of pipe sitting back there to do the piping that connects the steam operated brake cylinders back there um, sorry about the big finger in the way right there these things um, so I get that some of the little details done and then work on the boiler jackets and the handrail things uh, while I've got it at this stage I think my game plan for the boiler itself um, get the boiler jackets and bands finished put the handrail things in place and then um, then I can tip, set the boiler up like it's supposed to be, and then all the stuff that goes inside it—the the, the uh, throttle, throttle arm, the uh, the block that goes that I've done the videos that will be bolted on here for the the header, all that stuff. Get it installed, and um, then once that's all ready, then I can lift hoist the boiler up and put it in place on the chassis, 
and then spend some time getting all the, the final piping done. So that's today's update. Thanks for watching. I hope it's useful to you, and I will keep you posted.